Welcome to Space Race, ladies and gentlemen. And in this episode, we have a significant delay on our Venus impactor. And um, that was unfortunate to previous episodes reschedulings. But let me just revisit that a little bit. Venus impactor. It's ambitious. Japan is launching in 14 months and we are apparently just falling behind. Payload, we have minus 50% booster build time and plus build cost. Vehicle, says suboptimal uh, windows become optimal launch windows and launch preparations. We set this. Let's edit the plan if we can. 73% launch reliability. Let's see launch date. That's January. Oh, we could actually have it here. July. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Okay, let's do it like this, rather. Yes. Good. Nice. And also, when it comes to research, I think I'm actually doing a mistake by researching the multi-crew orbit. What are our opponents researching? Let's give them a quick look. Vehicle assembly building, a Venus orbit, C. None. We are office. So we do want to be researching something different orbit. And if they're going to go for Venus, that's the ESA. Maybe we want to either compete with them or just go for a different one then. We're going to get a very low amount of research so i'm almost inclined to go with the supplementary srbs on this and i'm thinking upper stage redstone or even centaur c that's plus 55 65 what is this delta k 750 300 i'm thinking even that we go with Four months. And C is a big screw up. I think I'm gonna should go with the Delta K. Let's go first with the um, four thousand three eight hundred. And this is just eight hundred. But it can fling the probes towards inner planets, so... Yeah, I'm thinking actually gonna go with this one. Upper stage Titan 2, 75%, 75 plus 1. Other Earth orbit, inner planets. I think I'm gonna go with a Delta K, that would be a vehicle capable of flinging something more important up it is a significant build cost though but centaur c already screwed me royally anyway so yeah moon micrometeorites let's launch the mission it's raining Oh, reschedule. Oh, wait, was the 76%? How far can we reschedule actually? I'm gonna risk Five, it for biscuit. Four, three, two, one. I'm always nervous when I'm launching this conditions because it's always you know uh, we could have done this and that to actually improve it but it seems okay we didn't have the fireball and we had a secure launch wonderful I'll go able leveling up thank you very much so Moon micrometeorites, 2 and 3, which means 4 and 5, obviously. So 
I need four of this and five of those. Meaning if I hit the hard ear, there we go. I could be getting those. Three data. And I'll need to hit this a little bit harder on the next turn. It's not the most efficient, to be honest. I'm thinking of even rather than doing that, I'm thinking of hitting this twice. You see, it puts me two and four, followed by a recharge. That actually might be a smarter thing to do here. There we go, 2-4, and then I hit that one again. And then I could be using Recharge. And I need to increase the data, so I could be using this guy. Four and eight. Without the capability to resist. It's a tricky proposition, but uh, I'd rather maybe do like this and then have one more to be sure that this gets done. And I know you'll say I'm a wuss, but that's perfectly okay. I can live with that. So, I'm actually hitting this guy, right? 4, 8. Yes. With 2 extra to spare. This was basically a power game, just. There we go. Let's achieve the lunar orbit. 3, 4, which means 6, 8. Which is harder to get, I guess the comms is harder to get. So if I hit this guy, I can get two of these. Alright, that sounds good to me. I have to resist this one. Okay, four. Or, and if I hit that one, then I'm at 4-3. Hitting this again. And this again setting me up for hitting the other one again in the next turn. So I think this will work fine. Of course, I have to resist it. I mean, I can while I have the power to do so. So if I do this, gives me five. And now... This puts me five, eight. Does it put me in excess of something? Nothing. Oh. So, six, five. This is gonna be a rather risky one. I'll try it. Atmospheric sampling, visual data, and come on, last one. There we go, 50%. Lady Fortuna Fortunes favors the brave. Or the gamblers in this case, clearly. Okay, lunar orbit complete, wonderful. Okay, that's gonna give us some science in terms of researching our Delta K. Venus Impactor is done. Our, our active missions, we have one mission slot available. Meaning we could maybe think about Mars orbit. We haven't researched it. 
Mars flyby. Soviet mission un unit. Okay. Let's plan the mission. See what if we can beat them by the punch. Payload. Three months. Let's try it. If we can do it, it would be awesome. Backup power generator. Delta K research complete. Beautiful. Lunar radiation. Optimal windows become suboptimal. It's unfortunate. Training. Payload reliability. 76%. 91%. Ah, hopefully it will offset. I'm gonna launch it immediately, just risk it. What can I do? Research wise, I want to be researching. The sooner the better. Is somebody researching Venus orbit? I wonder. Yes, ESA. So if I propose a joint mission, I must have a conference center propose joint missions. So they're researching it. 150,000 science. Will I have science output to be able to research it in time? Should we do the Mars orbit first rather? Maybe it would be a smarter choice. Nobody is doing that. Science reward. Support reward. Over 19 months, over 14 months. That's a decent beef in science. However, if I do Mercury, I'll be quick with the science and research the payload rather quickly, and then I could do the other two. Maybe that's a way to take this, actually. Is anybody researching Mercury? Nobody has the research, not even close. Then we go with the Mercury orbit research, I would say. It's not that big of a difference, actually. So let's do for Venus. Budget review. We hit the next year. Wonderful. Lunar radiation. Suboptimal launch date. I don't like it, but let's hope that the weather is good at least. Which it seems it might be. Constitution. So what does it say? Good conditions. Well, that puts our chances of fireball to 4%. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. Okay. No fireball. Good. How did it go? No mission effect. Nice. Booster and able. Wonderful. So, lunar radiation. 4 and 2. That means 7 and 3. Which one is harder to get? I guess this one gives in 3s. So, this one is a little bit harder to get to starters. So. If I go with this, I can then go with this, followed by this. It puts, puts me 3, 0. And 3 to spare. But if I don't have this, I cannot do anything. But if I do, I can keep pumping that data to actually get the 2 nav. Hmm. However, if I go like this, 
I think we went over this like this. This puts me to 2, 4. And then I want to be upping up this guy. I need bombs. I take this one later on. Bombs. Okay, this might be a little bit tricky. So far so good. No need to resist. Wonderful. That puts me in actually in a good position where I can get this one really hard. Followed by... I need to be getting nav modules. That would actually satisfy almost the mission requirement even if I hit then this one this would me give me some freedom to resist if i need to see there we go okay now we actually have to hit you pretty hard and then one more data module i would need if i put this guys then i will have enough to be able to withstand what's more come on will cost me an additional this guy all right now last turn so all we need to do is do i have these spare nine and four with these to spare perfect oh boy and that's the way we do it. Achieve Lunar Orbit. Wonderful. So, Achieve Lunar Orbit. 3-5, that means 6-10. So, we have an additional nav as resource. So how do we want to take this? This, by this and this. This puts us in good use of this, which we can then together with power use to boost up in the next run. Okay, we do it. There we go. So now we hit this guy hard. Twice. Followed by this guy. Actually, wait. Might as well do this guy a little bit harder, which may immediately satisfy our mission requirements. Followed by this guy once. I think that will be a smarter choice. And look, we get an additional data. Wonderful. And we have to spend one extra power. Something we have to, it didn't even move. Okay, so we have two turns. And I want to be getting I need to get one more of these. So if I use this Followed by this, that puts me to 7 and 8. And one with power, we're immediately over the requirement. Power might be a little bit tricky though. Let's hope it doesn't. I mean, how many bad attempts can I get? Okay, I, that answers my question. Okay. 50% bonus, that's a healthy addition to our budget. Now, Venus Orbit. We are researching. Active missions, we have one mission slot. Venus Impactor and Mars Flyby. We want to have a mission that gives us science, and hopefully a quick one. 
life support test, astronaut recovery test. 1752, what about the moon? Okay, so this guy could convert some cash life support test. Experimental payload, experimental fuel. I'd rather go with the experimental payload if I have to. I could use a delta and delta, possibly. Yeah. Let's go with that one. Payload. Mercury. Three months. Increased power, increased build costs. Okay. I'm gonna go with that one. Might not be the wisest choice, but I don't know if we have a choice. Mars flyby supplementary booster reliability bonus increased by 100%. That's nice. So if we design a vehicle for the Mars flyby, if I go with the Majestic, let's see, what can I use for upper stage? Delta K versus... Three months build time. It doesn't really do that much towards the three versus two and the cost goes up double. However, if I select this guy followed by this guy, this gives me 66 and 76. Sixty-six. Only the upper stage goes towards the. No, it's the same actually. It just counts to the build time and uh, launch reliability. Half a mil extra. But if I use this guy, maybe I could use a smaller booster, like Delta, alone, 73 for 5 mines build time and 10.21, 10.12. I could do then the reliability, that gives me an extra 5% on the reliability. That would be like training. So what about if I use contractor? You could down... For extra cash you could reduce the time. Why not? Alright, so let's continue. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so let's go on the next month, and actually, uh, I think this would be a good place to cut it as any, so let's continue in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, like if you like, and I'll see you all in the next one. This is Gromfork signing off.